mga payapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balilina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Sa pagbubukas ng aming 23rd performance season na tinaguri ang Tour de Force, magtatanghal sa unang pagkakataon bilang principal ang apat na Ballet Manila dancers na pawang na-promote dahil sa mahusay nilang pagganap sa kanilang mga tungkulin bilang individual artists at bilang team players ng Ballet Manila. At bilang paghahanda sa aming opening productions na Iconic 1.0 at Iconic 2.0 ngayong Setyembre, naisipan naming anyayahan ang aming apat na pinakabagong principal dancers para sila mismo ang umimbita sa inyong manood ng seryeng ito at para na rin mas makilala ninyo sila. Kaya't huwag kayong aalis kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang naghihintay sa ating pagbabalik kasama sina Joan Emery Sia, Elpidio Magat, Romeo Peralta at Abigail Olivero ng Ballet Manila. Isinilang sa Cagayan de Oro City, unang nag-aral ng ballet si Joanne Emericia sa Grace and Pointes Dance Center bago siya lumuwas ng Maynila upang sumali sa Ballet Manila noong 2009. Bagamat mas nakilala siya para sa kanyang mahusay na pagganap sa contemporary ballets tulad ng Mazen, Arachnida at El Adwa, nagpakita rin si Joanne ng galing sa mga lead classical roles tulad ng title role sa Giselle, bilang Juliet sa Romeo and Juliet at bilang Odette at Odile sa Swan Lake. Noong 2013, nag-uwi siya ng silver medal sa Padudu Division mula sa Asian Grand Prix sa Hong Kong na sinunda naman ng dalawang bronze medals para sa Senior Division at Padudu Division sa competition ding ito noong 2015. Samantala, unang sumali sa Ballet Manila si Elpidio Magat noong 2005 bilang isang scholar bago pinalad na matanggap bilang company member. Kabilang sa mga di malilimutan niyang pagganap ay bilang Prince Siegfried sa Swan Lake, Ali sa Le Corsair, Romeo sa Romeo and Juliet at Don Pedro sa Ibong Adarna. Tatlong beses siyang sumali sa Asian Grand Prix sa Hong Kong, kung saan nag-uwi siya ng bronze medal sa Senior Division ng 2012, silver medal sa Padudu Division ng 2013, at dalawang medalya ng 2015, bronze medal sa Senior Division at silver medal sa Padudu. Nakuha din niyang ikatlong gantimpala sa NAM CYA Competition for Young Artists noong 2009. Nagsimula din bilang scholar si Romeo Peralta noong taong 2000 bago natanggap bilang company artist ng Ballet Manila noong taong 2005. Bunga ng angking sipag at pagiging masigasig, lumutang ang kanyang husay bilang pangunahing dancer, partikular na bilang Prince Siegfried sa Giselle, Solar sa Bayadere, at Tybalt sa Romeo and Juliet at sa mga contemporary ballets tulad ng Reconfigured, Arachnida, Aria at El Adwa. Gumanap siya bilang Don Diego sa world premiere ng Ibong Adarna kung saan tinanggap niya ang Outstanding Featured Male for Modern Dance mula sa 2018 Field Stage Gawad Buhay Awards. Nakamit din niya ang bronze medal para sa Padudu Division ng Asian Grand Prix noong 2015. Tatlong taong gulang lamang si Abigail Olivero nang magsimulang kumuha ng ballet lessons sa Singapore at ipinagpatuloy niya ito matapos lumipat ang kanyang pamilya sa Melbourne, Australia sa ilalim ni Jane Moore ng Jane Moore Academy of Ballet. Naging bahagi din siya ng Australian Ballet Studio Company bago siya sumali sa 2013 Asian Grand Prix kung saan nakilala niya si Nalisa Makuha Elizalde at Osias Barroso na nag-anyaya sa kanyang sumali sa ballet. Ballet Manila noong taong ding yon, sa nakaraang limang taon. Nabigyan siya ng pagkakataong gumanap sa mga pangunahing ballerina roles tulad ng Odette at Odile sa Swan Lake, Juliet sa Romeo and Juliet at Mercedes sa Don Quixote. Gumanap din siya sa world premiere bilang title role sa Ibong Adarna, Evil Queen sa Snow White at lead female sa contemporary ballet na Bloom. 
Tinanggap niya ang Silver Medal para sa Senior Division ng 2015 Asian Grand Prix at ang Outstanding Featured Female for Classical Dance mula sa 2018 Phil Stage Gawad Buhay Awards. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng Art to Art sa mga principal dancers ng Ballet Manila na sina Joanne Emery Sia, Elpidio Magat, Romeo Peralta at Abigail Olivero. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat and welcome to Art to Art. Um, Mag-roll call muna tayo, so from left to right, bumati naman kayo sa ating mga listeners. Okay, magandang hapon po. I'm Joan Emery Sia. Thank you, mommies, for having us here this afternoon. Sa mga Bisaya diha, hello! <laughs> okay. Uh, magandang hapon po. I'm Elpidio Magat, newly promoted principal dancer of Ballet Manila. Thank you for having us here, mommies. Magandang hapon po. Ako po si Romeo Peralta. Um, first time po po sa Art to Art. Salamat po, miss, for inviting us here. Magandang, ha magandang hapon po. <laughs> <laughs> Ako po si Abigail Olivero. Um, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. So. Thank you, Mom Lisa, for having me today. <laughs> Pero, okay, aside from Romeo, it's not really your first time dito sa Art to Art. Kasi, but it's your first time as newly promoted principal dancer. So, um, I'm sure naalala nyo pa yung moment nung na-announce yung pangalan ninyo sa Entablado at the end of... Uh, Um, our 22nd season at nalaman ninyo na promoted kayo to principal dancer. So, anong unang pumasok sa isip ninyo? What was the first thing in your mind at that moment? You know, anybody can answer this. I'll go first. Okay, Romeo will go first. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, alam kong may announcement but I, hindi ko po alam na may mapopromote or mm -hmm. I'll be Kasama Paano mo ko? alam na may announcement? <laughs> alam ko lang po na may announcement. Aha, uh -huh, um, okay. Pero hindi ko po alam na may promotions and part ako nung mapopromote as principal. Mm -hmm. And hindi ko na po siya in-expect na talagang makukuha ko siya. Mm -hmm. uh, na masaya ako nung nakuha ko siya. And mm -hmm. Of course, nung in-announce po, nagulat din ako na kasama ako. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What about you, Joan? Um, na na nalalok parang very dramatic na hulog ka pa ata, I was sa yung Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I know the meaning of Lord already. I fell on my knees. Oh. I didn't know it would be possible but yes, I fell on my knees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I was listening to um, who was the first one who got called? Uh, I think it was Romeo, was it Romeo? Uh, Maga, time, I think. And then Romeo. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I was like happy for them and I was also happy. Honestly, I kind of expected when mm -hmm. he said promotion, I mm -hmm. sort of expected LPG mm -hmm. Maga to be called. So I was like mm -hmm. celebrating at the back and mm -hmm. then suddenly mm -hmm. my name was <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I couldn't breathe, all that, uh -huh. everything. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Everything. Uh -huh. All the yeah. drama, but uh -huh. <laughs> it's okay. true. So LPG, what about you? Anong naisip mo nun? Ako, that time po, naalala ko po, parang mixed emotion kasi exhausted po sa sa kakasayaw na lang. Tapos lang po ng uh -oh. ano, season natin na that time. And then, happy and basta mixed emotion po. Parang uh -huh. uh -huh. hindi mo in-expect. Sobrang saya nung tinawag po. Uh -huh. So, okay. talon ako ng talon sa'yo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, Abby, ako naman, I know that your promotion came a little bit later <laughs> no, than that. So, ano naman ang naramdaman mo? What did you feel nung um, I think you you got your contract? Yeah. And uh, it said principal dancer there. Yeah, well, I witnessed all of these guys getting promoted, so I was really excited for them, and mm -hmm. so it made me more inspired, more driven to work hard, you know, I just I want to be just like them. Mm -hmm. So I was ready to sign the contract as a soloist. Mm -hmm. So when I was in um, the office, and I was given a contract, and he said, Congratulations, uh, this is your principal contract. I'm oh, sorry, no, no, um, it's a soloist contract. That's not mine. So, <laughs> no, no, it's yours. I said, no, no, but I, I signed something else. It, it's, uh -huh. it's a soloist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he said, no, read properly. And I said, mm -hmm. no. I just kept saying no, no, <laughs> no. And then I said, Mum Lise didn't sign it. No, this is wrong. This is a mistake. Uh -huh. And he said, no, it's not. And when it finally sunk in, uh -huh. I just burst out in tears. And, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. I, I was on a chair, so I was tilting so far back from the contract. <laughs> I'm like, uh -huh. this is not happening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I, I couldn't believe it, mm -hmm. and I still didn't. Mm -hmm. So the next day, I came to you. Yes, I remember <laughs> that. Um, I thought I was going to go to Abby to me. Mom, is this true? It took me so... Uh -oh. I, I, was, I said to Mark, like, I don't want to ask if it's a mistake because <laughs> what if it is and she's going to take him back? I don't want her to take him back. I remember um, making up my mind then when na nanalo ka ng uh, uh, best uh, supporting uh, female mm -hmm. lead role the in um, sa Gawad Buhay Awards for your role as Mercedes yes. in Don Quixote. Yes. So after that, nung nangyari yun, saka, I think kaya na ni Abing maging principal dancer. And naging principal dancer ka not just um, for uh, I mean, not just for the upcoming season, but you were actually dancing the principal role in Ibong Adarna sa Israel. Yes. Um, kakarating nyo lang uh, last month, no? Yes. Um, so, how did that feel na um, nandun ang company sa Israel, nagsasayaw ng Ibong Adarna of Gerardo Francisco, and yes. you were in the posters, in the, you know, in the, in the yung mga, yung mga publicity, <laughs> lahat ng publicity materials, nakita mo yung, yung, yung ibon mong picture sa, um, sa Israel, you know, how did that feel? Actually, every time we saw a picture or a poster, uh -huh. so Shaz would say, Abby, Abby, and he would kind of like yell, like, Abby, Abby, and you like, so Shaz, like, no, <laughs> so Shaz, but it's so big, it's right there, you uh -huh. can't avoid it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It was very cool mm -hmm. to begin with, like, I, I felt like, you know, okay, I'm growing, even though it was the same role, Adana, but mm -hmm. I still felt like I was, growing into it and it's stepping I have to step it up a notch you know mm -hmm. and it helped with my confidence level as well um, mm -hmm. uh, so I think it was it was a good start mm -hmm. as a principal mm -hmm. to be performing Adana mm -hmm. International and to represent mm -hmm. the Philippines as well I think mm -hmm. it was awesome because well first I'm not Filipino but mm -hmm. it was the Philippines it was you that gave me a chance to mm -hmm. first dance with Ballet Manila so I am so grateful, I'm so thankful mm -hmm. to the Philippines for the audience in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So to be able to represent the Philippines was a huge honor mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And if I recall correctly, you're, you started um, with Ballet Manila because of the Asian Grand Prix. Yes. And becoming a finalist in the Asian Grand Prix. Yes. And, you know, congratulations to our Junior B gold medalist, Brian Sevilla. And congratulations then to our silver medalist, na si Rafael Perez. Uh, for the senior division in the recently concluded Asian Grand Prix. But I digress. Okay, <laughs> Romeo, ikaw naman. Um, you were the pinaka senior member now, um, but at one point you were the most junior member of Ballet Manila, na joined ka at 17 years old. And at the same time, medyo naputol yung iyong, you were accepted into the company at 17, and then medyo naputol din ang iyong career because pansamantala mong iniwan ng ballet and then bumalik ka after just a short while being away from ballet. So, bakit nangyari sa'yo yun? Can you tell us that story? Okay, um, I'll start. Um, being the youngest, I started 12, mm -hmm. da dancing at 12. Being the youngest, um, it's, it's something na I have to step up then. Yun yung, yun yung thinking ko po na, na mm -hmm kailangan makahabol ako sa kanila kasi gusto ko yung nagusto ko yung ballet mm -hmm. after after a while and I tried mm -hmm. and then sabi ko kailangan makahabol ako mm -hmm. kailangan makasunod ako sa company and mm -hmm. sa core kahit sa core lang okay na ako mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. masaya na ako dun sa core <laughs> uh -huh. and then um, yung right now is being the senior mm -hmm. in in tenure mm -hmm. <laughs> mas may may meron pang mas matanda sa akin mm -hmm. pero in tenure ako na po yung pinaka matagal mm -hmm. um, it's it's I think it's a, still a privilege for me na mm -hmm. makasayo until hanggang mm -hmm. ngayon mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. and to be called a principal it's mm -hmm. it's an honor for me to be to be a principal of Ballet mm -hmm. Manila mm -hmm. pero um, bakit ka tumigil at one point I stopped because uh, I needed to finish my um, degree mm -hmm. in college mm -hmm. um, I I studied in a uh, Sarisal University, mm -hmm. um, management. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I took up management, mm -hmm. and hindi ko na siya matapos pag hindi ako kukuha ng mm -hmm. mga subjects sa gabi, kasi mm -hmm. puro pang gabi ng mga majors ko. Uh -oh. So <laughs> I had to stop. I had to work 
outside to and try to mm-hmm. my OJT outside and mm-hmm. then I and then for like six din. months and then bumalik uh-huh. ko ako kasi So bakit ka bumalik? Hinahanap ko yung pagkasayaw eh. Okay. Uh, mm. Sabi ko nga parang makati yung paal uh-huh. <laughs> sa pagkasayaw. So bumalik po ako sa uh-huh. pagkasayaw. Uh-huh. And then, yeah. Uh-huh. And right okay. now, I'm, I'm a principal. So okay. I think okay. I, 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 I did the right decision. Yes, that's <laughs> true. Oh, oh. So Elpidio, ikaw naman, nag-leave ka from the company for mm-hmm. almost one whole year. Pero for a different reason, not to complete your studies, although nag-aral ka din, no? um, I understand graduate ka ng uh, grade, grade uh, uh, ano pa? ongoing pa rin. Ongoing pa rin yes. as? As a Bachelor of Radiologic Technology. Radiology. But it's really important to point out, sa, lalo mm. na sa mga bata, na even as principal dancers, mm-hmm. ongoing pa rin ang inyong pag-aaral. Yes. No? Okay. But nag-stop ka for a different reason. It was medical. Yes. Right? So, can you take us through that? Recovering uh, from a major operation for your mm-hmm. back injury. Yes. I mean, what was that like? Uh, for, for us po, na dancer po, uh, hindi natin may iwasan yung may injure kasi mm-hmm. ano, prone tayo dyan eh, because we are dancer na kailangan natin yung body natin parang always ready and mm. always prepared. Mm-hmm. So, ayun po, yung, yung nagka-injury po ako na major, mm-hmm. uh, napaisip po ako na, na parang kung babalik pa ako or, mm-hmm. or mag-i-stop ako or lalaban po ako mm-hmm. for what I love. So, mm-hmm. ayun po, mahirap yung decision pero ano, parang for me, mm-hmm. naglaban ko sa sarili ko na parang I think ito yung mm-hmm. gusto kong gawin mm-hmm. and ayan po. Mm-hmm. So, so I think parang major decision din yung magpapa-opera ka ba yes, or hindi, no? Uh, Kasi nga, medyo mm-hmm. nakakatakot yes, magpa-opera. Yes, uh, yes, at lalo na kung it would mean na mm-hmm. baka hindi ka na makasaya. Yes, no? yes. Oh. So ano yung ngayon na, naging, na, na, na promote ka as principal dancer, uh, looking back at that time mm-hmm. na yun, pin, siguro pinakababa mo ng uh, um, time yun nung, mm-hmm. nung, nung injured ka at hindi ka makasaya. Uh, for me po, ano, uh, naging downside ko rin siya, pero yung pagtitingnan ko na yung sarili ko ngayon mm-hmm. na nasa ano na ako ng position na principal dancer po na mm-hmm. ayun po, parang uh, nagka-courage na po ako na parang ano po, uh, hindi ko na parang hindi ko na babalikan yung dati ko po na ginagawa mm-hmm. na parang uh, <laughs> Siguro ngayon, maingat ka <laughs> na. Maingat na ako. Okay. <laughs> po. Maingat ka na. Okay, na you work smart, yes, which po. is good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Joan, ikaw naman, um, medyo madrama yung buhay mo tungkol sa yung love affair with ballet. Um, alam ko na marami kang iniyakan at sinakripisyo dahil uh, I think yung yung pamilya mo ay tutol sa yung pagpunta sa pag, pagiging ballerina. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, when I was uh, younger kasi, ballet was always in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, for my family, what was most important was school and studies. Mm-hmm. Um, my parents would not pressure but encourage us to get good grades. So mm-hmm. I feel like since my brother was high school valedictorian, my mm-hmm. sister was high school valedictorian, mm-hmm. I had the mm-hmm. I was pressured to be that as well. Mm-hmm. Like they were first honor all the time. I had to be mm-hmm. so my parents would expect that from me and my younger brother. So mm-hmm. of course Bali was just in the background, although mm-hmm. it was it was never gone. Mm-hmm. So when I graduated from high school um, top of my class, mm-hmm. class ballet Victoria. Mm-hmm. I told my dad, um, I think it's time for me to take ballet seriously. Mm-hmm. And with all the good things coming for me mm-hmm. academically, he mm-hmm. didn't want that. Mm-hmm. He didn't want ballet. Mm-hmm. My brother got into Ateneo as an academic scholar. Mm-hmm. My sister got into Ateneo de Cogen as an academic scholar. And I also had that option because I was ballet Victorian. But he said, no, you can't afford to lose that chance. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. So I had to study for one year mm-hmm. in Kaga and the Oro. Um, and then after that, I was like, no, it's mm. really not for me. It's not in my heart. Mm. So like my first summer to Manila, actually, going back um, a few years before, I already had my ticket to DM. Mm-hmm. Um, Sheila 
from Cebu was the one who invited me. She mm -hmm. said, come with me. Um, mm -hmm. Let's experience Bali Manila together. I was so excited. I had my ticket, my bags packed. And then the night before, my dad was like, no, mm -hmm. you're loving this too much. Mm -hmm. Your focus is gone. Mm -hmm. So that was my first heartbreak mm -hmm. from Bali. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think after that, everything Bali related was much more important to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, if it's me being a hard-headed daughter or mm -hmm. just me realizing that I love ballet so much. Mm -hmm. So after that, everything was much more important. Everything was much more focused towards going back to ballet. Mm -hmm. So after a year of studying college in Cagayan, I told mm -hmm. my mom um, if I could, you know, leave that all behind. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. she finally told my dad about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miracles happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> the sea parted. Uh -huh. I came here. <laughs> okay. I took it by the horns and uh -huh. I never let go. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. even now I'm still jittery. I still mm -hmm. have that trauma of my dad calling me back because mm -hmm. whenever I get sick, minor sickness mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. I would be sent to the hospital because of mm -hmm. my, you know, I have kidney stuff going mm -hmm. on problems. Mm -hmm. He would be like, No, I think this is a sign you have to come home. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It just made me stronger and much more willful to fight back. Like, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. I'm doing everything to stay What's the reaction of parents mo no, na promote ka as principal dancer? Um, Parang finally vindicated yung, yung position mo, no? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the... That's when I got my dad's stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. Finally. Mm -hmm. okay. Because um, although I have been in Bali, Manila for some time and mm -hmm. feeling like I've done the right thing. Mm -hmm. To him, it wasn't so much. Mm -hmm. So I think when you promoted me, mm -hmm. it was like he's never, he, it's like he surrendered and said like, mm -hmm. I'm never gonna take this girl away from what she loves. So. Uh -huh. uh -huh. At napanood ka na um, magsayaw? No? Mga um, mga. I think my my dad has seen me, the last time he saw me dance was when we did the tour mm -hmm. in Cagayan de Oro, which, mm -hmm. which you were still dancing in Mommies. Uh -huh. okay. He was supposed to watch Swan Lake, but um, I think that time he got really sick, so mm -hmm. he wasn't able to fly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom, mm -hmm. I would always invite her, but she would like to just stay in the background mm -hmm. and pray, mm -hmm. like, yeah. like Manny Pacquiao's <laughs> mom. But, you know, it must be hard, <laughs> I'm sure, for you and for Abby. Um, you had to uproot yourself from your family as well and leave uh, your family to join Ballet Manila. It's been five years, no? Yeah. Um, so what's it been like living away from home for the last five years? Um, I miss home. I miss mm -hmm. my family, but I love this too much to let the pain override anything. Like I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't think twice about coming to the Philippines to begin with. You know, my mm. mom was showing me on YouTube, like, this is the Philippines. Do you know where you're going? I'm like, mom, I don't <laughs> care, mom. <laughs> I am going to dance. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's just worried, uh -huh. you know, because uh -huh. none of us, we've never been to the Philippines. And mm. all honesty, I didn't know where the Philippines was. Uh -huh. so. okay. <laughs> well, now you know. Now I know. Okay. Um, I, I, I was just inspired by the dances that I saw. I saw Mm -hmm. okay. You and Alfred, mm -hmm. Joan and Alfred. I, I saw a lot of, of the dancers in Hong Kong, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, yeah, I didn't doubt anything. But I have mm -hmm. my moments, especially when, you know, it's my birthday mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. it's Christmas, any mm -hmm. family events, I mm -hmm. start to get a little bit homesick. teary. Yeah, yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I call home all the time. And my parents mm -hmm. visit once a year. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's not too bad, but again, like, the love for dance, it mm -hmm. just overrides everything. And mm -hmm. I have beautiful friends as well in the company, so. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marami pa po kasama ang mga bagong principal dancers ng Ballet Manila. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating arts calendar. Sa musika, iniyahandog ng University of the Philippines College of Music at ng UPCM Alumni Association ang concert na pinamagatang Back Home with Mr. C and Friends. September 1, alas 7 ng gabi sa Abelardo Hall Auditorium ng Naturang Kolehyo. Tampok ang flutist na si Tony Maigi, sopranong si Kit Vigilia Navarro, tenor na si Jonathan Badon, cellist na si Giancarlo C. Gonzalez, 
Gonzalez at si Ryan Kayabyab bilang musical director at host. Para sa tiket, tumawag 926-0026. Sa Sining Biswal, nagbukas ang retrospective exhibit na pinamagatang Dreamscapes, The Art of Perfecto Mercado, nitong August 25, Gateway Gallery, Gateway Tower, Araneta Center, Quezon City. Tampok ang naiwang obra ng yumaong self-taught kapampangan artist na si Perfecto Mercado na ilan lamang sa kanyang nilikha sa loob ng apat na pung taon. Kasabay ding inilunsad ng aklat tungkol kay Mercado na may kaparehong pamagat sa panulat ni Gary Apolonio na curator ng Gateway Gallery. Patuloy na makikita ang exhibit hanggang September 9. Bukas ang gallery lunes hanggang linggo alas 10 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Para sa karagdagang detalye, mag-email gatewaygallery at aranetagroup.com Kasalukuyan namang itinatanghal ang exhibit ni Froilan Kalayag na pinamagatang Signs of Life sa Pasilyo Guillermo Talentino ng Cultural Center of the Philippines sa Pasay City sa pakikipagtulungan ng West Gallery. Binubuo ang palabas ng tatlong bahagi at nagtatampok sa mga obrang sumasalamin sa pananaw ni Kalayag tungkol sa paglikha sa pagpili ng sining bilang hanap buhay at sa kontemporaryong sining na Pilipino. Patuloy na makikita ang exhibit hanggang September 9. Bukas ang gallery mula Martes hanggang Linggo, alas 10 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi at alas 10 ng gabi kapag may mga palabas sa tanghalang ni Canor Abilardo ng CCP. Para sa karagdagang detalye, tumawag 8323702 o mag-email ccp.exhibits at gmail.com o bumisita sa website culturalcenter.gov.ph Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat kasama ang balirina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha Art to Art Kasama pa rin natin ang Ballet Manila Principals na sina Romeo Peralta, Elpidio Magat, Joan Emery Sia at Abigail Olivera. Okay, let's talk about the 23rd performance season of Ballet Manila, guys. It's uh, called Tour de Force, and particularly the season opener na iconic na next week na ang iconic 1.0 and two weeks from now ang iconic 2.0. So, papano na iba um, ang iconic 1.0 at iconic 2.0 sa mga iba nating previous productions ng Ballet Manila? Romeo. Um, for for this tour de force, yung opening namin, yung opening natin is uh, we're doing two different uh, ballets in uh, two weekends. Mm -hmm. um, usually, kasi we do one story ballet. Mm -hmm. For now, we're doing a uh, different. Uh, we're, iba yung first week, iba iba rin yung sa second week. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's seventeen. Um, choreographers, ah, uh, seventeen dances, fourteen choreographers. Mm -hmm. So, marami siya. Marami talaga. Marami siya. Mahirap, but mm -hmm. I think we're we're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, we're excited. I'm I'm excited mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to do the show mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. yung mga gagawin ko for mm -hmm. that. For, okay. For this I'm sure very distributed ang mga lead roles between all the principals now, no? Okay. So, um, gano kahirap um, gawin ito, El Pidio? I mean, uh, uh, so rehearsal, I mean, maghanda para sa labing pitong choreographies uh, ng um, labing apat na iba-ibang choreographers. No? I'm sure iba-iba yung style na yan. So, iba-iba din ang rehearsal. Patong-patong. Um, madali ba to? Mahirap? Uh, ano? For two weeks po mm -hmm. and 17 ballets, mm -hmm. sobra pong, ano, <laughs> that's so, uh, mahirap talaga. Pero, mm -hmm. for us, pag tinitingnan ko as a rehearsal po namin, parang we can make it naman po. Mm -hmm. uh, yun po. Uh, we're not just sa rehearsal lang, nakaka-focus. Mm -hmm. Kahit sa bahay din po, uh, parang mm -hmm. nagre-review po kami kasi mm -hmm. 17 ballets nga po. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. ayun, mm -hmm. ano po. Para. I'm sure, ano, uh, kailangan mo talaga ng stamina. Stamina ako. Oh, um, stamina. Yes, uh, anything that you're doing now, mm -hmm. na principal dancer ka mm -hmm. and dancing so many roles that mm -hmm. is different from what you did before. Yes po. Um, Meron ba? Uh, well, uh, ano po, sasaya po ako mga, like Romeo and Juliet, mm -hmm. nasa part din po ako ng reconfigured, mm -hmm. uh, uh, saka, um, 
Bloom uh-huh. and po first time ko kung sumayaw uh-huh. din po doon okay. nasa Solowis Park. Uh-huh. And po. Okay. Uh-huh. So parang handed down na nga yes, sa po. next generation. Yes, po. Yung mga iba't ibang iconic roles. Uh-huh. Kaya nga po sa, iconic na lang uh, siya. Kaya nga iconic. <laughs> Super iconic. Uh-huh. Yes po. Uh-huh. Okay, John, ikaw naman, meron ka bang dream role o particular role na talagang your uber excited to do in uh, iconic? Um, actually, the pieces I'm doing for Iconic it, are dances I've done before, mm-hmm. except for Romeo and Juliet. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching you do it, Mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, that is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so when uh-huh. I saw my name there, I, I, I feel like I, I freaked out. Mm-hmm. This is the Romeo and Juliet of Sir Gavi Kulo, Sir Fantasy Gavi. Overture. Na yeah. kinikwento niya yung buong Romeo and Juliet. Uh, ginagamit lang yung four principal characters no at with Friar Lawrence no so si Romeo si Juliet si Tybalt saka si Mercutio, Mercutio. Mm-hmm. so i'm excited about doing that because um uh i although i've done Juliet before mm-hmm. this is a different take and i feel like i've grown mm-hmm. so i feel like the emotions i can offer this role is you know mm-hmm. it's going to be different this mm-hmm. time of course i'm also happy to be doing um, Bam's piece, Aladwa again. Mm-hmm. I love doing Bam's, Bam's pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm excited to do Arachnida again. I'm, mm-hmm. I know people say like I've done it a hundred times already, but mm-hmm. to me it's always the first and mm-hmm. I've always been... I'm always looking for a new way to mm-hmm. approach it. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to be um, Micaela in Carmen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's only she only appears like, first time mo bang mag Mikaela? It's my first time ah, to be okay. Mikaela. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. She only appears uh, a few times for mm-hmm. a few minutes in the ballet, but pero super dramatic, very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a big challenge for me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I, I'm pretty uh-huh. excited about uh-huh. that. Okay, okay. Well, speaking about drama, okay, <laughs> in your personal life, all of you are involved with fellow dancers who are also in ba- in the company in Ballet Manila. So, what's it like um, dancing with somebody or working with somebody na you're also personally involved with? Uh, meron bang mas mahirap? Is the, are there any like professional differences na uh, iba sa, um, you know, sa relationship ninyo um, outside of the studio and in the studio? Um, Abby, can you be the first to answer? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm in a relationship with Mark Samilo, and he's mm-hmm. a soloist of the company. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been together for about three and a half years, but mm-hmm. we've been friends for longer than that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like from the beginning, we have a mutual understanding of what life is like or what ballet is, and we talk often about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So, working with him actually is really easy. Mm-hmm. Um, we we talk, mm-hmm. um, but we have our difficult moments as well. So, um, for example, I'll be dancing Bloom, mm-hmm. and he was the first cast of Bloom mm-hmm. three years ago, and mm-hmm. I was the second cast. So we both had different partners. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was a little bit of a struggle to begin with because you know it's, but she didn't like that, but he didn't like that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think in the beginning it was a bit hard-headed. Yeah, but then you know. It's a pas de deux, and mm-hmm. it's a very intimate pas de deux at that. Not so much love, but mm-hmm. intimate. It's quiet. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we talked about it and we said, we have to find something that's in between, something that's us, not, mm-hmm. not a compromise. Mm-hmm. So, what mm-hmm. is us? So, it, it takes time. And the good thing is, he wants to work on that too, so that both of us spend time together mm-hmm. trying to develop. Mm-hmm. something that would be mm-hmm. us. And it, it goes even outside of the studio? You yes. do discussions after, outside of the studio? Yeah, we, we just got a two-month-old mm-hmm. puppy as well. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> may anak na rin siya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pero, Abby, I understand um, um, mag-debut ka in uh, Carmen. Okay. Yes. Uh, sa Iconic 2.0. Um, so, what's that like dancing with uh, real-life Don Jose? Okay, well first, <laughs> first, I am really excited to dance Carmen Puli. It's a dramatic role, there's lot lots of characterization, there's mm-hmm. a lot of acting involved. Mm-hmm. But I really, really wanted to dance Carmen because I really wanted Mark as my Don Jose. Not because he's my boyfriend or anything, mm-hmm. but when I saw his Don Jose in 2015, I think mm-hmm. it was. 2015, yes. It, 
blew me away and mm -hmm. I said, I want to dance that role. I want to be across mm -hmm. from him on that. That's who I want to dance with. Mm -hmm. So when we were casted together, I'm like, oh, this is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. So um, <laughs> it's electrifying. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's similar in a way to how Mercedes and Espada was. So mm -hmm. he was my Espada to my Mercedes. And mm -hmm. it's a very electrifying chemistry heavy mm -hmm. role mm -hmm. but in common it's even more than that and there's a bigger storyline and mm -hmm. more drama mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I feel like I get to delve with him and it's exciting because he's an interesting artist mm -hmm. I, I love him for that like mm -hmm. he's <laughs> <laughs> he, he I wouldn't I don't want to say he's Don, Don Jose but I feel he exemplifies Don Jose because he is masculine and mm -hmm. but he's quiet in his mm -hmm. masculinity but it speaks volumes mm -hmm. and yet he's such a sensitive person so mm -hmm. you know when Don Jose just his life just falls apart because mm -hmm. of this scarlet woman mm -hmm. like yeah I just see Mark I can hear everything in his head mm -hmm. so loud to me so mm -hmm. um, being across from him in that role is just it's mm -hmm fun I get to roll with it and mm -hmm. just go with it to see where it takes us okay so, so don't miss uh, <laughs> Abby and Mark uh, in Carmen that's iconic 2.0 September 8 and 9 that's two weeks two weeks from now okay Romeo you are married to Sofia Sanco Peralta who's a, a full-time teacher in Bali Manila so and I know that you have three beautiful boys yes. uh, uh, so what's that like um, to meet her? <laughs> uh, or, um, yes, I, I, I met her in Bali, Manila. Mm -hmm. right? and, mm -hmm. um, uh, and then we got three boys. Mm -hmm. right? We have three boys, mm -hmm. uh, Ethan, Liam, and uh, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's, I think we both grew mm -hmm. with the company and mm -hmm. um, her now uh, teaching now as a mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and then me, you know, um, giving uh, more roles and mm -hmm. being a principal and mm -hmm. then having our kids after after mm -hmm. work yeah we go we go back mm -hmm. to the house and then and then yung mga bata uh -huh. i think it's okay. uh -huh. um ibang ibang feeling uh -huh. ibang role siya pagdating yeah. sa bahay and uh -huh. Okay. Yun ay atay pinaka mahirap na role ko. Pagiging tatay. Mahirap tatay. Pero um I've always wanted to ask you this question. Um bilang tatay ng ng tatlong <laughs> lalaki no na na anak. Um Ipapabalay mo ba yung, yung mga, yung mga um, lalaki mong anak? Kung gusto nila. Mm -hmm. um, I ask my boy kasi yung, yung eldest ko, si Ethan, mm -hmm. kung gusto niya sumayaw, mm -hmm. um, ay, ayaw niya daw ng balay. So, mm -hmm. pinatry namin ang iba, pinatry namin ang top. Okay, mm -hmm. so nagtry naman siya. And mm -hmm. then, hindi naman siya pinipilit. Mm -hmm. Yung second ko naman, gusto niya kasi may mga friends daw siya. Mm -hmm. So, nagtatry siya minsan, sumasama siya sa mami niya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nagtatry lang siya mag-stretching uh -oh. uh -oh. or sama lang siya sa klase. Uh -oh. Okay naman, pero nothing serious pa. Okay. Uh -oh. if, if they want, they, they can try back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. And of course, we go to Joan and Elpidio. <laughs> Na, okay, wag nyo i-deny. <laughs> so what's it like dancing with each other? Is it harder? Um, I think there's a special dynamic mm -hmm. when you're with someone who you work with. Mm -hmm. Um... First, the pros are, they've seen you at your worst. Mm. They've seen you when you're sweaty, when you're ugly, when you're crying, when you fall on the floor. Mm -hmm. So everything else is easy. Mm -hmm. You know, going out is easy because they've seen you at your worst. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's very comfortable to be with someone who you work with. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it works for the both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> but sometimes it works too well. Uh -huh. That okay. we argue. We argue. Uh -huh. So I, I know <laughs> we were partnered in Romeo and Juliet of uh -huh. Paul Vasterling. Uh -huh. um, mm. Because our communication is too open, uh -huh. he would be too frank. Mm. And it would hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would be upset. Mm -hmm. And the day would be hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I think um, being too comfortable is also, it's hard, mm -hmm. but I think it's good. Mm -hmm. And I think it's scary also, it can be volatile at times. I, I remember you telling me at our one-on-one -on -one mommy said that mm -hmm. if it, we're having trouble being partnered because we clash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I remember we just, when we started, um, when Martin Lawrence started 
choreographing for Beatles, mm -hmm. he looked at me, looked at him, and said, no, Joan, you're, part you're going to partner someone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Because okay. something happened well, before. Then, ano, ano yung naramdaman mo noon? Was it relief? Or was it um, parang, uh, parang, no, but I want to I wanna dance with, uh, with uh, my boyfriend. Uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh -huh. <laughs> a little bit of both. Okay, I can relate to that. <laughs> it's a little bit uh -huh. of both. Uh -huh. Because I'm comfortable mm -hmm. partnering with him, but mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable when we fight because it throws us off mm -hmm. completely. Okay. So it's like, okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. It's okay. 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 I'm not really sure how much time we have left, but um, years from now, um, when it's time to say retire, uh, um, what are your thoughts about retirement? I mean, you've seen so many dancers um, pass on to the next. In fact, you're the recipients of so many different roles that were created for other older dancers, um, and you've seen them and you've worked with them. No. Um, I mean, do you have any like plans? Uh, what anything, um, you know? Do you want to teach? Do you want to stay in dance, or do you want to go some go into something totally different from dance? Anyone can answer this. Nagtitingin um, sila. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I love to teach. Mm -hmm. So even from before, I always tutored math. English, mm -hmm. ballet. I still teach ballet when I can. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think my next calling would be to just invest my time in teaching. I, I love, I really do love teaching. So, mm -hmm. and I don't want to leave ballet. I don't ever want to leave ballet. So I want to dance for as long as I can, as, mm -hmm. as much as my body can handle it. Okay. But when it, the time comes, I would love to teach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, I, this is going to sound morbid, but I think about what if I can't anymore every day, mm -hmm. which is I'm in denial because to be honest, Mom Nisani promoted me. The first thing I thought was like, oh my God, I'm one step closer to my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> That's how morbid I am. <laughs> no, because because uh, looking at it another way around, because ballet is very important to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever want to let it go. So. Mm -hmm. It sounds irresponsible, but I have nothing else on my mind right mm -hmm. now but to dance. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm focused mm -hmm. on right now. Okay, okay, fair enough. Oh. Ako po, uh, mm. uh, co-dancer ko po, like Gerardo, Rudy, mm -hmm. uh, na-inspire po ako nila as parang maging choreographer. Mm. Um, okay, yeah. wow. And uh, Romeo? Um, bang magagamit mo bang yung management degree? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes. Um, um, right now, uh, I dance because I wanted to um, inspire uh, younger dancers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's that's what I prayed and that's what the answer is. Mm -hmm. You stay and then you dance mm -hmm. and you inspire. Mm -hmm. um, yung sa akin right now, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to live with it and. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe someday uh, I'll, I'll choreograph. I did two collaborations with the company before mm -hmm. with choreographies, uh, Lala Bashang and mm -hmm. Putitap. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe I'll go into choreography someday. And mm -hmm. and a uh, few months ago, mm -hmm. uh, we went to Indonesia and I for a uh, guesting. And mm -hmm. then, I'm mm -hmm. uh, I, I was inspired to mm -hmm. teach also. Okay. Um, maybe. I'll, I'll do teaching someday. Okay. So maybe one of these days, ah, yeah. ang lahat ng nagsasayaw sa icon, ang, ang lahat ng ballets na isasayaw sa iconic 3.0 at iconic 4.0 ay mga ballets na ninyo. But anyway, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, guys, I know that you, um, it's your day off um, and work, production week starts tomorrow in the theater, in Aliu Theater. So before I let these uh, <laughs> wonderful principal dancers go, I'd like to invite everyone again to watch Iconic 1.0 at Iconic 2.0. Sa Aliu Theater po ito, Iconic 1.0 features 10 ballets um, in Aliu Theater on September 1 and 2. And uh, Iconic 2.0 will feature seven different ballets 
um, on September 8 and 9. You can get your tickets at ticketworld.com.ph or call 891-9999. Sorry, sila dapat yung magsasabi dito, pero ako na lang. Kasi, <laughs> kasi mas mabilis. Um, at saka, um, yeah, yes, uh, it's Ballet Manila's opening production of uh, our Tour de Force season. So please join us. Uh, Ballet Manila opens our 23rd season in Aliu Theater with Iconic 1.0 and Iconic 2.0 in Aliu Theater. So, thank you guys. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> have a great production week and have great performances and debuts in the next two weekends. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balirina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino.